the locations differ like night and day. But each team has seen their share of the light. The Gators have shocked the world. The Florida Gators have won another national championship. Miami upsets the top-ranked Nebraska. Glory days that stretched into legacies and created legends. There is always more history to be made. Whatever it takes, we're going to stick together and preeminence to reclaim for Florida and Miami. We gotta find out how good we can possibly be. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All I'm gonna have to do is go out there and play as hard as we can. National prominence down the road. In-state dominance right now. The Swamp and South Beach. An 81-year-old rivalry rekindled right now on Saturday Night Football. So here he comes with the Heart no doubt pounding because the only experience Sharon Williams had last year was against Savannah State. Now he comes from Lawrenceville, Georgia, outside of Atlanta, won the job because he can extend plays. He's a good athlete. He's gone to work in his body. He's leaned down, trained his mechanics, Kirk, but he's never faced anything like this Gator defense. Right. Empty backfield. Ball coming out quick here. Gators rush for it, does come out quickly, and it's complete with the tight end, Brevin Jordan. And he's got space and a crease and a first down across the 45. They really used our tight ends well in this offense. Williams, another quick throw. Osborne gets a block on the edge. And now gets to the sideline and will be inside the Florida 40 with the first down. Got a block from Harley on the yeah, edge. They're getting the ball out quick, and it's smart. We just talked about how Dan Enos would want to do that. Watch the block by Harley. Does a good job of being able to pick up Wilson right there. Now it's just one-on-one. -on -one. One on one, who's a better player? And that time it's Osborne being able to get away from the defender, Terry, uh, Trey Dean, and picking up that first down. There's a nice rhythm to this opening drive by Danny. career, extremely hard worker, become a leader instantly in Coral Gables. It's another play action. On first down, they'll flip it short, and they've got Jordan the tight end. And he's got some space. Huge chunk plays for this Hurricane offense on the opening drive. Well, play action is outstanding. It freezes the linebackers. Watch the linebacker play right here. Get a little confused, lose their eyes, and it opens up. Nobody picks up Jordan. And again, we talked about him being a matchup problem. It's pretty easy when the linebackers off of play action are out of position. And now you can see he has wide receiver speed playing at the, out at tight end, out of Bishop. Miami, eight plays, 56 yards. The young quarterback look, looking, for the most part, in command. Definitely want to come away with some points. Next, a very reliable miss, just once inside 40 yards last year, and he slides it inside the right upright. So, solid debut for Jaron Williams. He finished playing his best football in those last three or four games. Well, Michael Piran is stacked up. It's going to be third and four. He told me he deleted from his phone the app <laughs> Haynes try to heat up the pocket he gets the ball out quickly but being hit immediately right there by Trajan Ooh. Bandy is P Ryan he got cut down Bandy is slow to get up it's fourth down uh, he, he's the one veteran in this secondary they showed man he comes off of it well and that actually does a great job of taking P. Ryan just about a yard short of the first down. Glad to see him come off the field. P. Ryan in the backfield, lined up very deep. He's got it on the toss, bobbled it initially, and the Canes penetrate. Flying in there was Gilbert Frierson, striker position. If Frierson and Finley both play, and, and actually Frierson's known more for his coverage skills, a former corner, and you, should, you could see his quickness and how he's able to get by Lucas Kroll and get into that backfield and be able to take down the board. Now, first and goal, and a fumble exchange. Franks and Piran were confused about who was going to keep it. The Canes say they have it, and coming out with it is Scott Patchen. Get out the turnover chain for the first time as the Gators spoil what was a promising drive. Well, the exchange there, Miami catches a break. They were able to come up with it. There's the chain, the new chain this year. With the 305 area yeah, code. Everybody's <laughs> excited this year. Watch the exchange. It's a read. You want it? Am I going to keep it? They don't know until the read. P. Ryan tries to take it. The quarterback, Franks, is trying to take it. Miscommunicate. Ball's on the ground. Patchen ends up coming up with it. There's a, another explosive hit there by a Miami defender. 
Gators only had 14 turnovers all last year, but the Canes with the chain out. Yeah, it's changed every year, Maria, and they don't get a look at it ahead of time. Davis bobbles the snap. It's on the ground. They're fighting for it. It's a scrum still loose out near midfield, and I think the Gators got it back. Nick Buchanan, it was the center falling on it. Wow. And the play, it, it looked to me again like a little bit of miscommunication. The execution didn't look like it was the best. Oh, they gave it to Miami. Wait. I was with you. The top, the big center, Buchanan, was right there. He, he must have let the Miami defense rip it away from him. Let's take See, a look the at the bottom execution of the pile isn't here. the best. And he never had his, a handle on the ball. And you'll see... The big center 66 looks like he has it. He's down, but look, no, no, he never quite had the ball, and the Miami players end up taking it away from him. And the chain comes out again, and that's Quarterman making his 40th start. That was a scrum where it looked like you can't have the ball in the bowl for the Gators tonight, and Miami gets another gift. And now it's DJ Dallas in Wildcat formation, takes off, breaks a tackle, and busts it in inside the 30. And it's the Canes' chance to reclaim momentum. Yeah, a little wrinkle of their own, and a very, very natural runner in Dallas. How about Tate Martell, the quarterback? He goes in motion. They fake to him, and then they get a great double team there with the right guard and the right tackle, which opened it up. They were able to finally run the ball. We were at break, Chris, and I said, we're talking so much about Jaron Williams and the pass protection. Where is the running game? And he could help with that pass protection. Cameron Harris is the back. But Williams is going straight back. Now he flips it in the flat. And this is Harris. He's a physical back running over Ventrell Miller. Only gained a few yards, but that excites the Canes crowd. Well, it not only excites the Canes crowd, you know, he gets a couple yards. That's right in front of the alumni. And, all, and you see what Miller took the took that hit. He's going to have to check out. But, Chris, that's a, that's a play that can ignite the team. And he knocks it right through again. So Miami, off their second takeaway, converts it. To a field goal and cuts the lead to one. He motions in on third and three. Franks gets blitzed again and a high pass knocked out of the hands. Bandy breaks up the pass and the Canes defense continues to gain confidence and they'll force a punt. And this is, a, again, this is... Quick throw to the edge. Thomas gets a block and shows some acceleration. He is very dangerous in the open field. The man who made... 35 catches in his junior year. If Miami Hurricanes are watching this game, they've been wondering where has Thomas been tonight? He's their version of what Tony brings to the other side, to the Gators. Great block, by the way, by K.J. Osborne, the leader in that room of the wide receivers. How about how he slows down kind of a stutter step, the old Walter Payton kind of lazy leg, and goes right by some very talented Gator D. And trying to stay fresh for that second half. The last third and very long, they just... Ran the ball this time at play action and Williams steps up and throws over the middle and a first down to Thomas who went down low and that was a confident strike from the young quarterback. Well, that's what I was going to. Here's a guy that's that's had to deal with a lot of adversity in this pocket, whether it's penalties or, or pass rush or sacks. He steps right into the teeth of that pocket and goes over top of Houston, the linebacker, to find that window. You know it's coming. That crossing route at about 15 to 18 yards. The line give him credit. And you get a mismatch in the slot. Williams is looking the other direction. And now surveys, has space to run, and slides down in Florida territory. He begins the slide short of the marker, and that's where they'll spot him. It'll be third in the yard at the 47. Not freshman, and he, he could become a dominant linebacker in the SEC for the Gators. Gators rush forward to screen. Dallas goes up and makes a one-handed catch, and now takes off. DJ Dallas busting into the clear. And knocked out at the 4 to 15. An explosive play that puts the Canes in position. Let's go to halftime up. Well, great blocking downfield. Dan Eno's known for his screenplay. Watch the center 65 get out in front and pick up that block right there to allow Dallas, who didn't necessarily have a lot of momentum because he had to go back and make that one handed catch, but to block right there on Bernie by the center getting out in front. And then you can see what Dallas can do with his speed and his leg strength to be able to pull out of some of those arm tackles. Here's the target, Jordan, the tight end. Gators 
Bring the pressure. Williams has time. Ball batted at the line and then caught. And Jordan bounces into the end zone for a go-ahead touchdown. And the freshman starter shushes the Gator crowd. Got a little lucky there, let's be honest. Well, I, I thought he might go to Jordan because they hid him in line as opposed to he's been flexed out like a receiver, detached most of the night. This time they moved him in to try to create a matchup against the linebacker. The linebacker ended up blitzing, and he gets matched up against an undersized safety, and he'll, Miami will take that much up all night, and he gets the ball out quickly to give Jordan a chance. What a drive, Kirk, for the Hurricanes. 90 yards, 12 plays and 608. With the touchdown ring there. That's the offense's version of the turnover chain. If you told me that this Miami offense was going to drive 90 yards in this Florida defense tonight, I would have said no. No, no. 12 plays, 90 yards, quarterback throws up. Watch the tight end get the linebackers blitz. Now he just throw it, uses the big body to protect the ball away from the safety, Jawan Taylor. Ball's tipped right there, just not quite enough by Grinard. Grinard, and Jordan takes it into the end zone. What focus there by Brevin Jordan. Yeah, that's that's an inch from being a pass batted down. It's going to be third and really long and probably don't reach the end zone. And this this is interesting. I I didn't think that Jaron Williams would would do that in his first game. He's a pretty humble guy. Oh, yeah. Quiet confidence, yeah. but he just charged right down there to the Florida crowd and yeah. gave him the shush. A long way to go, too. Holding penalty. Franks has been pretty sharp tonight. And he's rolling to his right. Here comes the pressure, and they've got him. They've got him at the 40, and no timeout, so the clock is just going to run out. And Miami's defense makes a play to secure the halftime lead. Here's call, sets the Gators up at the Canes 36 after the timeout. And Pirine spinning in traffic is going to be knocked down for a short loss. That time he could not escape Jonathan Ford. Six in the middle. Yeah, physical, but you could see athletic as well. Oh, yeah. So after the loss, they try to get Tony on the end around. And the Canes swarm him, string him out, and drop him for a big loss. Back at the 44, Romeo Finley, the speedy striker. What, what I like here is just the positioning by the Miami defense. Remember, Tony's got tremendous speed, and when he gets outside, you got to be a wor worried about him. Look at Bandy out here. Now he cuts back, and you got a linebacker right here. So good spacing, good team pursuit by 11 defenders by the Canes. Just great discipline there not to allow the speed of 35, 36 range. Thanks. Zips it, and it's broken up. Coming in to get a hand on that play was Gilbert Frierson. Patchen pressured him, and it's fourth down. They've been rotating Finley and Frierson. Frierson's probably better in coverage, the former corner, so they're not afraid to leave him out there on his own. Maybe got away with that right hand, that right hand pulling on the receiver that time, Swain, but makes a good play to be able to swat it away. Offense on the field. Gators have been successful on fourth down a couple of times tonight. Week zero. It's all good. Williams zips it across the middle and the catch is made near the first down marker is Thomas trying to atone for that mistake You know, he's desperate to do thing. There's an example DJ Dallas in the backfield Wildcat look and He takes off up the middle and Dallas the running back still going look at the strength DJ Dallas to the secondary down the sidelines and to the end zone Miami reclaims the lead 50 yards A wrinkle, and it pays off in a big way. Yeah, a wrinkle that worked a little earlier for a nice game, but atrocious tackling by the Gators secondary. C.J. Henderson off to the left. Watch this effort to come in here and get involved. Miss, Olay, safety a poor effort. Marco Wilson a poor effort. The speed of Dallas into the end zone, but poor. Early fourth quarter, the underdogs from Coral Gables are in front. There's Henderson right there, perfect position. He just doesn't want it. Electric play. He's got that the touchdown ring. He's DJ Dallas after Miami reclaims the lead on his touchdown burst out of the Wildcat formation. Some pressure. 
Rush for Franks. It's over the middle and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amari Carter. And the Cane safety still running. And fighting down inside the 25 as the Gator offense presses and makes a mistake in the hurry. The Gators believe, and as this game has gone on, I think it's kind of changed the way these two teams feel. Right now, the balls, if the ball's delivered, it's there, and he has a chance. But it goes over the hands of Freddie Swain, and there's the safety, Amari Carter, who's able to make the play. But Carter, just two starts in his career. Huge shoes to fill Jaquan Johnson. He wore that turnover chain more than anybody. You fake it to Dallas, and now it's Williams who's looking to take a downfield shot. Instead, throws it across the middle. And the catch is made by K.J. Osborne to midfield. Yeah, and they think K.J. Osborne transfers over from Buffalo, kind of brings a mature attitude in. This thing is wide open and does a good job of just letting it develop, not being a little bit... This is the back. The Williams is going straight back, steps up, still surveys the field, has a man wide open! And that's Brevin Jordan, the tight end. How do you lose him? First down near the 30. Uh, he was on a crossing route. Linebackers, was it, they were in a good spot, but they lost him because the, he extended the play. Jaron Williams bought some time. Nobody's back there. C.J. Henderson crossed, who's a corner on that side, crossed the middle of the field with a wide receiver. So and now the Gators, four and a half to bleed out. Up by four, and Franks is thinking about throwing on first down, and it's a pick! A disastrous play! Romeo Finley gets the football back, and the Canes are suddenly in business at the 25. Can you believe it? A flag came out after the play, but what in the world? What Frank's in the thing Four man rush. Williams with time. Underneath. Catch made. Harley. Trying to make a man miss. Dies first down inside the 25. Taylor Stop. on the tackle. Stops the